Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to Vinny the Axe. Today I want to talk to you about the Swart Mod 84 112 Combo Amplifier. So I picked this up secondhand. I heard good things about Swart. I hear that the fit and finish is amazing and the quality. Watched a couple of videos online where people looked at the inside and saw how nice hand-wired it was, so I took a chance. Now, like I said, I got this secondhand. It took about nine days or so or more to get to the house from UPS, I guess because of the winter months or you know whatever was going on. And it came like a day before I had to leave or the day I had to leave for NAMM. So I really didn't get a chance to mess with it until I got back. So plugged it in. It sounds great. Reverb was making a little bit of noise. I called Swart, uh, talked to Mr. Swart himself, uh, gave me some troubleshooting tips on what to do with the reverb tank. I have now discovered that I think the reverb tank was replaced and probably not with the, the right one. So I ordered the correct one that they put in their amp. So I should have that in a few days. But still, the amp sounds great. And the reverb's working okay. It's just, um, I don't know, it could be, it probably could be better. But anyway, I like the amp so much that if you notice my magnetone is in its cases or its slip covers and uh, that's going up for sale. That's going to be in my reverb shop. Um, so if you get a chance, check that out and uh, the link will be in the description below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe too so you can get the updates on the channel for all the new videos that are coming out. It actually does help out the channel so it's actually appreciated. The amplifier is very simple to work. It has a volume, it has a tone control, and it has what they call space, which is their reverb, which is one knob. And then they have uh, the tremolo, which has the depth and rate. It came with a really nice heavy duty foot switch, um, a blank type of foot switch, which I just got a label maker and I just put the labels on there myself. And uh, it actually, it just, it sounds fantastic. What a great amplifier. It is plenty loud, like really loud, like really, really, really loud 15 watt amp. So I could barely get the volume on. I, I have the volume turned on till it like engages and you can hear the low end come up in the speaker and it is plenty loud. So is it a bedroom amp? Um, I would say not, unless you buy one of the um, attenuators that either they sell or ones that you can buy. Um, but then again, you can get any amp, right? Um, and do the same thing. So, so if you're asking me if you could play this in a bedroom at night or in an apartment without an atten attenuator, uh, no, not at all. So, you know, now I will say that the amp is a great pedal platform. So during this video, not only did I play it clean, but I also 
put in front of it a um, Tube Dreamer pedal from Jam Pedals, which is their take on a Tube Screamer overdrive. And that sounds stellar. Um, it sounds great on this amp. It really works well. I had a Nobles ODR-1 on the front of it. That sounded really cool too. Um, I've tried a bunch of different pedals on the front of it. This amp can take pedals in front of it and sound really, really nice. I also have a crazy tube circuits uh, type of faux tape delay a little bit on there just uh, to taste in the background. And uh, that works well too. No noises or anything, any weird anomalies or anything like that. So as of right now, this amp is a keeper and uh, I'm just impressed with the Tolex. The Tolex is awesome too. Uh, it's got like a black Tolex with a, almost like a racing stripe uh, blonde Tolex or I guess uh, tweed, tweed Tolex. Um, or let me, let me go back and say that it has a black tweed and a tweed racing stripe is what, I, what I'm meaning to say. Um, and it looks really, really cool. The amp is kind of short, but wide. It's um, uh, an extra wide 112. So there's a lot of space in there. Matter of fact, um, the speakers cant it off to one, one side, off to the right, if you're looking at the front of the amp. And then there's plenty of space for the nine inch reverb tank off to the left, if that makes any sense inside there. So the amp is sounding really good. I'm gonna change the tank out to the proper factory tank. And uh, as of right now, like I said, I think it's a keeper. It sounds a really good amp and the quality looks fantastic. So. You know, if I had to go buy another one, even if I had a chance to test this one first, I would probably buy a new one, you know, without a doubt, if I was looking for um, some kind of Fender-ish kind of amp. Now, this EL84 one is kind of um, almost like a, a hybrid, really. It's running EL84s. It's kind of almost Vox-ish like, Vox-ish, Vox-ish like, and Fender like all kind of mixed together. So it's got its own, it's got its own thing going on, which is, which is nothing wrong with that. I think it sounds just absolutely great. It has super clean tones to it. And like I said, I like it so much that uh, I was A being the magnetone and this, and um, I prefer to my ear, especially even with pedals in front, I prefer the Swart over the magnetone. So, you know, go figure, everybody's got their own thing. You know, there's nothing wrong with the magnetone. The magnetone is awesome. This is what happens when you get stuff and you A, B stuff. You start to decide what you like better than others and it causes you to sell things. And, uh, <laughs> and the uh, quest never ends, I guess, right? Well, anyway, so far so good. I'll keep it posted. And uh, once again, thanks for watching Vinny the Axe. See you soon.